So what is going on guys, the King 777 HD here and welcome to my new video and it's great to be back for after a long break back on YouTube and just had enough time to make this video as I could potentially be very very busy this year with work and other stuff and studies but great to be back and today I'm going to talk about FIFA 17 potential upgraded potential returning players and potential new players I decided to make this video just before FIFA 17 or Ultimate Team going and or EA going to release all the player ratings and in this video I'm particularly talking about players that are not really that people not really talk about that much like the top players for top teams and we're going to start with Martin Sam Wilson very very talented youngsters only 19 years old and already have been very very have been playing for many many good teams obviously he's uh, from the West Ham Academy he's playing for West Ham now have been uh, on loan to Petersburg where he scored one goal one assist in 17 appearances has scored one goal in two appearances in the Emirates Cup and I've, and I also have been called to the national team in Norway very talented player very tall player and I potentially have never seen such a tall player so, so good on the ball and Sam was definitely will be upgraded to a silver in my opinion because everyone have seen how good he have been, especially in the games against West Bromwich Albion. Andra Bellotti is the next player. He's currently the top scorer, goal scorer in Serie A. He has scored four goals in two games, which is very, very impressive. And scored 12 goals in four and got four assists in last season in 31 appearances. He's only 22 years old and he's very, very talented. Have so much potential. <clears throat> this guy. In my opinion, we'll get a 77 rated card, like a pretty good go card, could be a pretty decent card to use in for the starting teams, could be potentially even 78 to 80 rated card, but in my opinion, 77 is just perfect for him now. Obviously, a big upgrade by plus 6 from his last year's Ultimate Team card, as he is really, really good and really improved from last season. Next player is definitely a upgraded car next year is Vincent Janssen, 27 goals, 4 assists in 32 appearances for Azad Alkmaar last season. And in April, in one period of time, I think he was in April, like mid of April, this guy had more goals, which is 19, than Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi in top 10 leagues in Europe, which is absolutely fantastic and it's just ridiculous how many goals he have scored this year. It's 2016, a great year for Vincent Janssen. He has been called to the national team when he also scored against Poland because I've saw, saw that game as well. And he's he is now had his move to Spurs when he's going to have a quite a lot of competition, but he could be potentially very very good partner partner striker with Harry Kane. Next play is Samuel TT, 30 games for uh, Leon. He had been injured in November and then was a period when Leon have lost quite a lot of games But when he was back Leon have been very very solid. They finished second in uh, Liga last season And play very very well in the Euros when Rami got injured and Varane He replaced these two centre-backs very very well and now he made his move to Barcelona because he's a very all-rounded uh, Centre-back he can dribble he can shoot he can pass He's a perfect signing for Barcelona and for now, in my opinion, 81 rated card is perfect. Could be more, could be less. 81 my opinion is what he deserves. Lucas Perez Martinez, player that have been linked to Arsenal pretty much whole transfer window. Now finally got his move to Arsenal and this guy had a fantastic season in Deportivo La Coruña, scored 17 goals, he got 8 assists in 35 appearances, which is definitely top 10, considering you have so many great players in the Liga BBVA with Griezmann, obviously, Bale, Benzema, Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez. 17 goals is very impressive in Liga BBVA, and obviously um, got 2 goals this season either. He scored 2 goals in the first game of the season for Deportivo, and now he moved to Arsenal. When in my opinion he's definitely going to get a huge upgrade at card, in my opinion he deserves more pace, dribbling and shooting. It could be a very nice 81 rated card. Now we're going to talk about players that are returning to the Ultimate Team. And we're returning to 17 the first one is Alan Zinho, now he's back on Ultimate Team and he have now joined Stabek from in Norwegian, in the Norwegian League. Obviously, Stabæk struggling a lot this season. They are in the, I think, in the they are in the relegation battle currently. Balanzino is a player that everyone in Norway wants wanted to see back in Tipoligan. Obviously, 
Everyone remember how great he have been in 2008-2009 season when Stabæk have won the won the league, scored so many goals, and he was considered one of the best dribblers to ever to ever play in Tipa Liga. And, and now he's back on Ultimate Team, and now he's back on head to head and back in Stabæk, which is very very great news in my opinion. And obviously, I really really like to see him back as well. Now, in the next place, Clanchar, a player will be playing for Spurs. Now is now have made his move to Rangers in Scottish League. Obviously, Rangers are back in the first division in Scotland, which brings the rivalry between Rangers and Celtic. Clanchar have now signed for Rangers. He have been playing for Queens Park Rangers, but now made his move to Rangers and could be very very nice all-rounded silver Sensaki midfielder with great shooting, passing and dribbling stats could be a very very overpowered card in next next year ultimate team. Next player is going to be the overpowered Almighty Sako. The eye player that everyone used in bronze teams. He was so overpowered, he was absolutely ridiculous. And now he's back on ultimate team, back on head to head as well. Now we have him playing in second division in uh, in France. But now he moved to Leeds and already got one goal and one assist, which is very very impressive. And he will be a 68 rated silver card. Could be overpowered. He could be a very, very good silver card as well. But uh, it's a shame that he's not bronze anymore because he was so overpowered. Next player, next 5 star skiller. The second 5 star skiller from this list is going to be Il Signo. Now he's playing Philadelphia Union. And he have been he have got a update and up, upgraded to 5 star skill moves, which is very, very cool. Obviously, he will be used quite a lot in the MLS teams because of the 5 star skill moves and looks pretty similar to all the other cards that he had in Ultimate Team. And the last player is Dragovic, finally made his move to Leverkusen from Dynamo Kiev and looks very, very good. Next couple of players are the new players that could be added to Ultimate Team and players that uh, could be great addition to, to career mode next year. First player is going to be Malcolm, consider the new Douglas Costa, he's very very good on the ball, he's very quick. The other, the, he's pretty good at passing as well, but the other, his disadvantage obviously currently is his shooting, he's not very that good at finishing, even though he scored one goal for Borto so far this season. People say that the finishing is what let, let him down, but he have been playing for Cortinas when he was 18 years old, regularly in the starting 11, and now he's have been playing regularly in the Bordeaux first starting 11, so he's a very exciting player, great prospect and could be really really good next year. Next player is 17 years old, Lafont. Many people talk about uh, Donnarumma being an amazing goalkeeper, very young, like how can you be 17 years old and already play that many games in top division or 18 years old. This guy is 17 years old and played 27 times in Ligue 1. I mean, seriously, 17 years old and 27 appearances. It's ridiculous, really, and he could be great. He could be, he have a lot of potential in the ultimate team. And uh, I mean, in the career mode, he have 86 potential so far. Next FIFA, he could potentially even be like 90, could be like like 90 potential. Seriously, 17 years old and have be having a 70 rated goalkeeper card is very very impressive. Next player is Penarada, a youngster and very talented striker. In my opinion, should definitely be playing for Watford this season. But Watford have loaned out again after having a great season in Granada. Very very great have been very performing very very well in Liga Copa America now is on loan to Udinese when my opinion is he could potentially have an absolutely fantastic ultimate team card next year with great pace great dribbling and obviously have a lot of finishing this guy have like 78 finishing in current head-to-head -head, um, update and he looks so so good Next player is Lindelof, very solid in defense, have been called up to the national team in Sweden, have been regularly playing for Benfica first stats in Levin now, how was a part of very, very solid defense in the Portuguese first division. And this guy looks to definitely going to get a gold card. Many people say he deserves 78 or even 80 rated. In my opinion, 76 is perfect considering he could be potentially upgraded this year in Ultimate Team. Very young and very talented centre back. And the last player is a player that I really enjoy to use in career mode, which is Tyler Roberts. A guy that is only 17 years old and have lots of finishing and is a, overall a very, very good player to use in lower divisions. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like like this video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and see you next time guys, peace.